Good morning, Movement family. My name is Debbie Saletta. I am the executive administrator and HR manager here at the Movement. And uh, this week in the Daily Devos, we're talking about the helmet of salvation. And so we're sharing a few of our salvation stories. So here's mine. Um, I was raised in a good humanist family. Um, they treated me well, but they had no idea who Jesus was. And uh, I was the youngest of five. And just above me was my uh, older sister. And she has a very large personality. And so in that family dynamic, I gradually became a little more shy and withdrawn. Um, my friend group was small. I liked it that way. That was fine with me. Um, but by high school, I had come to believe that if I was going to amount to anything, I needed to be popular and confident like my sister was. Uh, so I went to work on it and I tried to make the right friends and wear the right clothes and be at the right place after the football game, um, that type of thing. I wasn't thinking about God. I wasn't thinking about what was my purpose in life. Um, and then one day I uh, was invited to go help clean offices with a friend of mine. And I ended up going not because I was um, trying to be real kind, but because she was popular and I thought I'd work on that relationship. Um, but in the process, uh, she started talking about Jesus. And that was the first time I can remember ever hearing um, that God saw me, uh, that he knew me, and that he loved me exactly like I am. And he loved me so much that he was willing to die to cover all my screw-ups and all the ways I fell short of who I should be. And um, I was blown away that he could see the tiny little unworthy speck that I saw myself as um, and loved me anyway. And so that night alone in my room when I was 15 years old, I accepted his offer of salvation. And uh, what I did was I gave him permission to start making me who he was he saw because that's the thing I didn't realize is he saw me yes and he knew me but he saw somebody completely different from who I saw he saw who he made me to be who I was meant to be and began the process of changing me and that process began and it was not pretty it was not fun um, the first thing that happened was I lost my friends, both the real ones who had been sticking by me and the fake ones I've been trying to make. Um, but I had to start from scratch and he brought believers into my life and he brought people that I could truly connect with. And he started changing me. And by the time my senior year came around and the yearbook comments, so many of them were like, oh, you've changed so much. You're so much more fun than you used to be. Um, because he was in the process of changing me and he has continued that process um, throughout the rest of my life. And that is why I love the image we have of the helmet of salvation. Because um, once we put it on, we are a new person. We are a new person. And um, we begin to see more and more who that person is as we grow spiritually. So um, I like that it's a helmet because the helmet protects your mind. And there are people out there who, uh, from your past, who would like to say, I know who you really are. Well, the helmet of protection of our salvation protects us and reminds us they can't know who you really are because only God knows that and you don't even really know it. You're just learning. You're being taught who that is. So it protects that thought. It's like, no, no, you don't. God knows who I really am. I am who he says I am. I love that song, I am who you say I am. Um, that's who we are. We are who he says we are. Um, and then there's people who really want you to be who you used to be. Um, but you can't, you can't go back. You, since you put that helmet on, you are a new person. Um, and some of those same voices may tell you that they see the strength in you. And you're like, yeah, check out my helmet, it's strong. Um, so we are who he says we are. And I love this particular verse that talks about who we are. It's 1 Peter 2, 9. And what it says is, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, 
God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. That's who we are. So I hope that this encourages you to wear that helmet of salvation, to protect your thoughts, to remember you are who he says you are. And you are in process and he knows where he's taking you and you're his and he loves you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.